Hey everyone, my name is Kajal and welcome to another ROS2 tutorial video. In this ROS2 tutorial video, we will go over ROS2 parameters. We'll look at all the different commands available under ROS2 parameters and I'll also go over an example using TurtleSim. I'll include all of the timings in the description below. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's start by opening a new terminal. I'm using the keyboard shortcut control Alt T. Next, let's run the turtle sim package. Type the following command on your terminal. ROS2 run turtle sim turtle sim underscore node. I'm using tab to auto complete and hit enter. As you can see, we have a turtle sim window on our right side. Let's open another terminal window. I'm using the keyboard shortcut control shift T. As I mentioned before, today we'll be talking about ROS2 params. So let's take a look at the ROS2 param command using help. Type the following command on your terminal. ROS2 param dash dash help. As you can see, we have a list of all the command options available under params. We have list to get a list of all the available parameters for our current session. Next, we can use set to set a parameter and get to get the value of the parameter. ROS2 parameters is an option for us to change or configure certain parameters of a node. Now you can only change the parameters that are configurable when the node was created. For example, with the turtle sim window that we have opened right now, we have the option to change the background colors. So let's take a look. Type the following command ROS2 param list. As you can see here, there's the node name and all the options available within that node to be changed. So for turtle sim, we have the background B, G, and R, which is blue, green, and red color. If I were to start another node, this list will change. Let's give that a try. I'm opening another terminal using the control shift T. Let's start another node. Type the following command ROS2 run turtle sim turtle teleop key and hit enter. With this, you are able to drive your turtle. Let's go back to our old window and try the command again. I'm using the keyboard shortcut up to look at the previous command. Hit enter. As you can see, we can now see the parameter options available for our teleop turtle node as well. Next, let's take a look at the describe command to see the details of a particular parameter. Instead of trying to remember how to use that command, use help. So type the following in your terminal. ROS2 param describe dash dash help. All you need is the node name and the parameter name. If you don't remember, you can simply type ROS2 param list to get the list again. Type the following in your terminal. ROS2 param describe turtle sim and background B. I'm using control shift C and control shift V to copy and paste node name and parameter name. As we can see, background B requires an integer and it can take values from 0 to 255. In this case, our background is a combination of blue, green and red and we can change these values to change the color. Let's take a look at the current value and then change it. Once again, you can use help to figure out how to use a command. So type the following in your terminal. ROS2 param get dash dash help. I'm starting to see a pattern here. In general, with ROS2 param, you need to give the node name and the parameter name. Let's give this a try. Type the following in your terminal. ROS2 param get turtle sim background B. I'm using tab to autocomplete and hit enter. Similarly, we can also take a look at green and red value. Now let's try changing this to make our background completely red. 
instead of remembering the command, use help to figure out how to use a particular command. So type the following in your terminal window. ROS2 param set dash dash help. As you can see, to set a parameter value, you need node name, parameter name and the value we want to set. So type the following in your command window. ROS2 param set turtle sim background r 255 and hit enter. As you can see, our screen has become pink. To make it red, we'll also have to change the green and blue values. Let's give that a try. With this, we were able to make it red. Now it would be great if we could save this setting so every time we want to make a background red, we don't have to change all of these values one by one. This is where the dump command in ROS2param comes helpful. Let's take a look at what it does. So type the following, ROS2param dump dash dash help. It essentially dumps the parameters of a node to a YAML file. So all of the parameters under one node are saved as a YAML file. And all you need is the name of the node. So let's give that a try. Type the following command. ROS2 param dump turtle sim and hit enter. This saved the file and also gave us path to the file, which is turtle sim yaml. Let's take a look at that file. As expected, we are seeing the blue, green, red value and also the use sim time parameter under the turtle sim node. With this, let's look at how to use the yaml file to preload these parameters. First, let's close the existing node. Once again, we'll use ROS2 run to start the node. Type the following command. ROS2 run turtle sim turtle sim node ROS args param file and the path to our file. Looks like I made a typo. It is params dash file. As you can see, this time our background is red. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like and tell me in the comments below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.